Okay, last episode we found the next Chelsea club legend. Now his name is Max Peters. He's a 17 year old left back from Belgium who we think has potential to be one of the best players in the Premier League. So overall a solid addition to the squad, but now we are in the January transfer window. And to secure a top four finish this year, we desperately need a certain signing. So of course, drop a like down below if you're enjoying the series. And I say we get right back into it. Now, as we mentioned last episode, Ben Chilwell was transfer listed and it's now been made official. He has signed for for Manchester United. Now this makes Kukurea our clear starting left back and then Max Peters his clear backup. The first move of our January transfer window. Now first comment, sign Mark Yu as he is signed IRL. Yeah, I mean, even though Mark Yu just signed for Chelsea in real life, I feel like we don't really need him in this series, especially at 65 rated. Funny enough for this series, Leon Garcia was kind of like the Mark Yu replacement. So honestly, I don't think we need him. I guess unless he replaced uh, Nicholas Jackson, that's a possibility. And then as far as Dara Bio goes, I mean, he'd be our fifth best center back. So I feel like once again, for this series, it doesn't really make sense for us to sign these players. But now next, Common Kendry Paya is going to Chelsea in real life and he's said to be the Ecuadorian Messi, so you could put him in your academy for now. Yeah, so Paya is actually might make sense for us to sign him, but I would say probably not right now. I think we're better off like letting him stay at his club and developing, and then uh, maybe we could sign him in season two. Now, last one, why isn't Kudus in your starting 11? Yeah, I mean, I said it before, Kudus and Matoweke are pretty much battling it out for the right wing spot, the starting spot, and right now, Matoweke is the current second top scorer on the team, so honestly, he's playing better than Kudus. So for right now, basically, whoever's playing better, I'm gonna start, whether it's Kudus or Matoweke. But okay, we start this episode with a very big game here. So we are in the Carabao Cup semis versus Southampton. So it's two legs. And if we win this, we reach a cup final. So this is very important for the club, but we are going to sim the first leg and play the second leg probably. So first leg is going to be, it's going to be a one, one draw. I honestly thought we'd win that by like two goals at least. So we are now definitely playing the second leg. So before this Carabao Cup semifinal second leg, Enzo Maresca says our goal is to win trophies. And this game is a step to accomplishing that. The players all know how important this game is. So when this, we could be facing either Spurs or Liverpool in the final. And uh, we were definitely the favorite here to beat Southampton. So. So we play a pretty strong team, but some rotations like Max Peters in there. And uh, we try to reach the Carabao Cup final. Yeah, if we lost this, it would be pretty much embarrassing. So first, a team like Southampton, it's a must win game. And yeah, Leon Garcia has been just lighting up the Premier League. So I want to see that continue. He's got like 24 goals already this year, kind of the midway point. So yeah, that is pretty solid for your debut Premier League season. All right, Kudis into Cole Palmer. Palmer plays it right through to Leon. This could be a very good start. And right on cue, as I say it, Leon Garcia scores. I just said how he's lighting up the Premier League and it's continuing. Okay, talk about a fast start. Palmer is assist and Leon goal. I mean, that was as simple as you like. All right, one nil at the bridge. Now, I don't want to disrespect Southampton, but they're pretty much like a bottom tier Premier League team, high tier championship level team. So yeah, this might be a rough day for them if we play at a level we can play at. All right, Fafana, good tackle there. Now, don't lose it. Get it to Reese James. Kudis gets it to Palmer. Man, their defense looks wide open. Palmer into Mavid Kudis. Kudis is going to go for an early finish shot. Oh, Kudis, that shot was so weak. Somehow, Mizuno didn't save it though. Or he didn't catch it. I mean, that shot was so weak. All right, cold Palmer cross in. Leon fighting for it. Okay, that's going to fall right to Kudis. Okay, what an attempted finish that was. Let's try that again. Palmer, Leon, again, second time. And okay, that is barely clear off the line. That was so close. Okay, come all the coming forward. This is kind of dangerous. Don't let them score, boys. Stay strong. Colwell, good defending there. Very good defending. Okay, Bonner Bucks defense. Okay, Enzo, good tackle there. I like that. Now, Kudis into Leon Kudis. Should be free here. Okay, that pass was not straight from Leon. Okay, that's going to result in a corner. Palmer, again, to Leon. Leon, third time is the charm. And all it goes just slightly over the net. All right, so far, though, it's been a good start. We just need that second goal. It has been the hardest thing to get in this series. We get it, we'll be fine. Palmer, Palmer feeds it through to Leon. Leon looking for the second goal and Leon has hit the post. But we are cursed by the second goal in this team. We can score one, no problem. The second is always so tough though. All right, Reese James, solid defending, very solid defending there. Reese up to Kudis, now with space and Leon is making a run. Leon, use your pace now. Make this 2-0. Leon running forward. Palmer's there. Palmer should score that. Palmer will score that. Okay, this time it's uh, Leon with the assist. But 36 minute, that's 2-0 to Chelsea. And yeah, 3-1 in aggregate. We might have a Carabao Cup final in our future. Uh, very near future. Ludic plays it to maybe the next Chelsea club legend, Max Peters. Palmer's calling for this. Okay, that, okay, Peters. That cross was terrible. What was that? That was literally right at Bazunu. Okay, last chance, first half, Kudis, Palmer. Now I'm feeling this long shot. I'm feeling it. Bazunu, good save. But okay, that's going to be halftime. It's 2-0 uh, so far. I mean, so far are so good. I think if we score one or two more, this game will be definitely uh, settled. Just uh, not sure how much I trust my defense to keep a clean sheet this game, which might play into what we do later in this episode in terms of the transfer window. But okay, Leon, who it is? We got Reese James so free on the right. Now he is going to stretch the field. Reese James, we're going to cross it all the way over to Mudrik. Mudrik heads it over to Enzo Fernandez. That's going to fall so kindly. Is he on side? Oh, that is so lucky. That is probably the luckiest goal of this series so far, but I'll take it. All right, that's two for Cole Palmer, and that's 3-1. Uh, Bro, this is so incredibly lucky. Just the deflection for Falls right to Palmer on the volley. I mean, hey, we'll take it. All right, this is a very solid way to start this episode, though. Very solid. Now, uh, Palmer's on a hat trick for his first of the series, maybe. We're going to play it out to Mudrik, though. And he's got Leon down the middle. Leon 
Should get this. This should be another one for Chelsea. It's another one for Chelsea. Okay, we are smacking Southampton now. It is 4-0. Okay, we are getting some subs on. And yeah, I think this game might be over. It might be. And I wonder if it's going to be a repeat of last year's Carabao Cup final, Liverpool versus Chelsea. I mean, that would be a chance for revenge. That would be interesting. Okay, this is a loose ball that Nicholas Jackson is going to find. Plays it back to Cole Palmer looking for the hat trick. That shot is right at Bazunu, though. Yeah, the guy gets it to Mudrik. Now, Max Peters making a great run. Mudrik, what a pass there. Peters looking for maybe his first assist for the club, and Gallagher scores. Okay, I think that's actually Max Peters' first assist for Chelsea. It might be. Good finish by Gallagher, though. Okay, yeah, this might be, like, the biggest win of the series so far. And great run by Max Peters and also a very good ball in. Gallagher does the rest. Wow, 5-0 to Chelsea. Gallagher gets it to Jackson. Jackson back to Max Peters. Looking for another assist. He's going to send this one far post. Actually beautiful. And then Kudis... Okay, he's actually going to score this maybe. Wait, no, Kudis, no. We could have got that still. Or that could have been another assist. Okay, Lavia, what a tackle. Man, we are bullying Southampton right now. I almost feel a little bad. Funny enough, our next game is not going to be easy. So we could win this game 5 0, then lose our next game. I mean, that happened last episode with Spurs and Man City. So we are literally just inconsistent FC right now. Jackson plays through to Cole Palmer. No, Cole was so close to his hat trick there. All right, looks like we'll have to settle for just a 5 0 win here. But we have at least one cup final this year. That is confirmed. Care about cup final. So a chance for a League Cup redemption for this Chelsea squad. And okay, yes, it is going to be a Carabao Cup final rematch, Chelsea versus Liverpool. I doubt this time, though, Liverpool are going to play like what? A team full of youngsters. Hey, that's a chance for redemption, at least. And by the way, was that Max Peters' first assist? It was. It was Max Peters' first assist for the club. That is good to see from the youngster, who's already 75 overall, by the way. So he's going very nicely. Okay, now our next game, I said it was going to be tough. Funny enough, we are facing Liverpool next, but in the Premier League. And yeah, right now, they are the current clear favorites to win the Premier League this year. I mean, we're 12 points off them. We're four points off second. So they are the uh, clear favorites. Now, it is also transfer deadline day and we are working on a deal here but it's not quite ready yet we're hoping it will be ready soon though hopefully after this liverpool game so first team looks fully fit and uh let's see how we do against the current premier league leaders i mean last episode we lost to man city what was it five nil might have been like five one or five two something like that and now facing the actual current best team in the prem i don't know this could go very badly for us i just don't know we're gonna see the liverpool versus chelsea uh preview of the carabao cup final let's see what the boys can do it is uh, no longer jurgen klopp's liverpool it's now arne slots liverpool it doesn't look like a completely changed liverpool squad they still got run three of Diaz, Jota, and Sal looks like, and the midfield looks same, so they're not too different from last year. Probably a lot more re-energized under slot, but Matoike still is that. And now we got space to run. He's not, he doesn't have help yet, though. We're gonna get it to Leon. Now Leon, get it back to Enzo Fernandez. Enzo tries to play it over to Unkunku. Okay, that did not work. Uh, not even close there. Van Dijk into Tiago. Tiago, you shouldn't even be here. Why are you at Liverpool? Oh my, he's doing moves though. And okay, I guess that's why he's still here. Tiago scores for Liverpool. Or these moves here, I could not defend. And then he just found a finesse shot angle and just uh, put it in the back of the net. Okay, 1-0 to Liverpool on their first actual shot, basically. Why do I feel like another game like Man City coming up here? So our defense, like, I don't know if it's just like experience or leadership. We have good defenders, but our defense is just so inconsistent. Like the defense might be just too young. Okay, Mo Salah gets by Kukurei here. This is not good. Salah gets it all the way back to Enzo. Back to Jota. Colwell, good defending there. All right, Enzo to Nkunku. Now get it back to Enzo with space. Enzo plays through to Leon. Leon stops, tries to find Cole Palmer. What a pass by Leon Palmer. Was that a foul? Bro, that should have been a foul. They literally just stopped uh, Cole Palmer's run right there. I guess Todd Bowley forgot to pay off the refs tonight. Okay, let's try this again. Reese James over to Leon. Leon back to Reese James in an angle here, though. Here, we're going to try a cross to Matawake. Great cross. Matawake header, and it goes over the net, though. All right, corner in by Palmer this time. Palmer. Gets it over. Good corner. Cole will good header, but Allison good save. Okay, let's try the same thing. Swung in. Leon right there for it. Oh, I thought I was going to fall to him. All right, Fafana, Palmer, cross in. Okay, that might work actually. And Kunku, okay, it would not work. Hey, we look like scoring our first goal though. It's just, where is it at? Oh my, Tiago long shot. Tiago is feeling re-energized for some reason. I don't know why. He shouldn't even be here. I mean, just went for like a 35-yard screamer against me. Okay, Liverpool still playing their uh, press game. And uh, honestly, it's working. All of a sudden, we're having trouble getting the ball out of our box. All right, Enzo Steele gonna be Matoweke. What a slide tackle that is. Now, this might be their last chance of the first half. Gomez gets it into Jota. Jota back to Gravenberch. We can now let them score here. This will be a disaster. Enzo, Enzo, what is this? Reese James, get it out, please. No, it's gonna fall to Diaz. You gotta be kidding me. And it's gonna be a corner. Bro, that was so sloppy there. Diaz, Diaz, Matoweke. Great tackle there. And okay, halftime, it's gonna be a 1-0 to Liverpool. Honestly, it could be worse. I feel like we're close to scoring though. So we'll see if we can get that first goal here. Enzo, Leon, waiting for Palmer. Palmer, this could be tie game. Cole Palmer shot Allison. Good save though. And those are the ones we got to score, especially in a game like this. Palmer gets it. Enzo, Enzo, great turn. Now he's going to go for a long shot. We're feeling it. And I should not have felt that one because that was not good. Okay, apparently, Balde has signed for Man City. What a transfer for them. Someone investigate Pep. How did he sign Balde? Oh, no. Jota, I should worry about my own defense instead of worried about Man City because they almost just scored. Mardash really good save, though. Corner by Tiago. That is going to be Alpamedoweke. Jota gets it over to Salah. This is not good. 
Ball into Tiago. Tiago, why is he their best player today? He's like torturing me. Nkunku, great ball to Leon. Leon, get it back to Palmer. Palmer waiting for something. Enzo picks it up. Nkunku tries to find... No, I wasn't trying to find Palmer. There, Enzo steals it though. Okay, this is weird. Get it back to Caicedo. Caicedo, man, Endo's gonna get that ball from Palmer. We have been sloppy in the attack. We might need some subs soon. I'm thinking uh, maybe Kudis from Atawake. Caicedo's gonna switch it to Nkunku though. Good ball, Nkunku wins it. Okay, actually played it right to Tiago. That's not exactly winning it. At least Fofana will steal it from Jota. Okay, we gotta score a goal here. All right, two subs. Kudis on from Atawake, then Gallagher on for Enzo. Because Gallagher's scoring a lot of goals recently, so see if he continues at this game. Now Leon, Kudis. We got Reese James in space. No, okay, we can't lose it. That's fine. Caicedo driving forward into Leon. Leon tries to find something in the middle, but just couldn't find it. He like didn't turn the whole way. Salah gets it to Jota. Don't let him score again. Fofana. Good tackle right there. Bro, they have just been relentless today, especially Thiago of all players. Salah. Oh, that move was so good. What was that? Was that a shot or a cross? I don't know, but Diaz, Fofana, save it. Okay, can I say it? Oh, no, just get it out. No, we got to get it out, please. Kukurea blocks it. Oh, that was so awkward. Okay, we got about 12 minutes, though, to tie it up now. Reese James is finding space, though. Reese James plays an amazing ball to Leon Garcia. Oh, what a ball by Reese James. I actually meant for that pass to go to Kudis, not Leon, but it went to Leon. This game is 1-1, and that was a disgusting through ball. Just that pass. Oh, that's perfect between the, all those three players right there. And then also a very good finish from Leon. Okay, now we got about 10 minutes and a chance to win this game. Gallagher gives it to Caicedo. Caicedo into Leon. Leon back to Gallagher over to Nkunku. Nkunku's gonna cut inside, get around there. Nkunku finesse shot. Van Dyke will block it. Okay, Reese James will send in this corner right to Leon Garcia. No, that was actually flicked on in a good spot. Just no one was ready for that. Oh, what a tackle. What a tackle that is. Leon, oh my, over to Nkunku. Could this be game? And Kunku shoots and Kunku scores. Okay, have we just beaten the first place team Liverpool? What a finish. That was so awkward, but I will take it. There was like a wild tackle that it resulted in the ball to Leon and then Leon just played it right through to Kunku. Man, that could be a very big goal for our season right there. Trailing for like what? 75% of this game? Now the question is, can we hold on to this lead? Oh no, no Gakpo, please no Gakpo, no. No, he's gonna turn, please no Gakpo, please. No, double slide, no, don't let him score, please. Oh my, what's happening? Kukurea gets it. Kukurea. Okay, just clear it. Just clear it, please. Oh, that was so risky. Kudis win that. Kudis. Okay, I, what was that? Two minutes left. Come on. Just don't let him get forward. Just block all the lanes. Yago gets it to Sawa, though. Sawa's in a turn. That should be a tackle. That should be a tackle by Colwell. Great tackle, and we will get the ball out. Okay, this is going to be a great win versus Liverpool at Anfield. Man, that was hard fought, but what a win. And also, huge goal by Nkunku. Honestly, I think we just showed the world the potential of this team. And that puts us now in third place, only one point behind Arsenal in second. So that was quite a big win. But now it is transfer deadline day. So here's our plan on deadline day. Mario Chile is our pretty much our fourth choice center back and he has not played much. So because of that, he has submitted a transfer request. So we're going to try to sell him and then we're going to try to sign a new starting center back. And yeah, I said starting. I feel like our defense is just too young and like too inexperienced to where I'm not sure we'd get top four with these two center backs there, Fafana Colwell. So I think we need to sign like a veteran experienced center back. And the player that we're targeting has got a lot of experience. We're targeting David Alaba from Real Madrid. Now, this man knows how to win trophies. He knows what it takes. And also, I mean, he fits the Premier League. He fits how we play as a team. So I feel like this could be a perfect signing with Real Madrid trying to get a bit younger. We need some experience. And apparently, he'd cost around like 45 million for an 85 rated center back who's only 31 years old. I mean, to me, that is a no brainer. So you're going to try to sign David Alaba. So we're going to offer about 38.5. Let's see if we can get a deal first. Let's see what uh, Ancelotti says to that. Okay, they're just going to accept 38.5 million. That's a steal for Alaba. I mean, with them trying to sign like uh, Lenny Yoto from Lille, I guess they feel like they don't need Alaba anymore, which makes him fit in this team perfectly. So, all right, the deal is done. David Alaba is now a Chelsea player. Because, I mean, Leon, Cole Palmer, and Kunku, Matawake, Kudis are all scoring goals. Our biggest issue is the defense. And with Alaba now in this team, we've got an experienced center back who knows how to win trophies. So, Alaba, welcome to Chelsea. So, for now, I think Cole is going to be the first center back off the bench, and Alaba is going to start in that left center back spot. I mean, once again, I think that adds some uh, much needed experience to the team. And this time, Signing might actually secure us top four this year. That's how big it could be. And with that, the transfer window is now shut. All right, so Alaba's debut is going to come versus Crystal Palace away. And hey, we're now up to second place. Now, scary thing is Spurs only five points behind us in fifth, and even Man City are catching up too. So the top four race is going to be close this year. But David Alaba, before his Chelsea debut, he says that he's happy to join a great club like Chelsea and that he wants to help this team win another Champions League trophy. So David Alaba debut versus Crystal Palace. Now, for some reason, Cole Palmer was suspended this game. I don't know why. Maybe it's due to like a yellow card accumulation, but Kudis in for Palmer and then also Max Peters playing. But David Alaba, welcome to Chelsea. He's got blue boots. It just works. Our defense should be a lot better here. All right, Peters gets it to Nkunku and Kunku's gonna dribble a little bit. Goes around one player. Now he's gonna play it to Leon. Great ball right there. Leon plays it right to Matawake. Matawake is gonna try and cross it. Now somehow actually got that cross off and it almost works somehow. I don't know how that cross wasn't blocked. 
Max Peters, great defending there. Love to see it. Now he's going to try and lead this counterattack too. Okay, they're laying off Max Peters. I don't know why they're not marking him. Max Peters goes for a long shot and it wasn't the worst. Matawake, oh my, Matawake is dribbling, bro. We have got some skillers in this team who know how to dribble. Enzo Fernandez shot. His shot is terrible though. Or like between Nkunku, Kudis, and Matawake, like the dribbling in this team is insane. Okay, they got a free kick in a decent spot. Eze is going to send that in. That's dangerous, but okay, Matawake, good clearance. Nkunku plays it over to Kudis, who can now run a little bit. Now is he going to be this fender? Oh, Kudis. What did I just say? The dribbling in this team. Now, can Kudis go all the way? He's going to go for a shot, and that's going to fall. Leon, no, man. That could have been a very nice, like, solo goal right there. All right, Peters, Enzo gets it to Nkunku, Nkunku. Good dribble. Gets it to Peters. Peters looking for a cross. He's going to cross it. That's going to be a corner. All right, Matawake aiming for Leon. Leon, okay, that wasn't even to him, actually. He's going to pick it up, though. And then Leon, finesse shot right at Johnstone, though. Okay, we look like the aggressors this game. Again, Leon, corner. Bro, with Leon, those headers got to be so much better. We're going to try a short corner. Kudis. Gets it over to Metaweke. Play back to someone. Kudis over to Christopher and Kunku. And okay, and Kunku, what a finish. Man, we are not playing bad today at all. What a left footed finesse shot from Kunku. That right there is a beautiful finish. All right, 1 0 in the 27th minute. Yeah, we were looking like we're getting Chelsea back to the top, but still a long way to go. All right, corner swung in. That is going to be out by Reese James. Now, this could be another counter attack. Is anyone there? Okay, Kudis, what a pass to Kunku. Kunku is there. Oh, dribbling again, dribbling. Keep it. Oh, and Kunku. And Crystal Palace just can't deal with us right now. Going to play it back to Enzo. Enzo, good turn. He's going to play a great ball to Reese James. Bro, the pass right now is just beautiful. Reese James cross. No, that was meant for Leon. That is unfortunate. Man, honestly, Alaba has not had to do much this game. It's not been too much defending for us. Eaters and Kunku is going to try to play it to Alaba. I tried to find him right there. Yeah, apparently that's not a foul, bro. Todd Bowley paid off the refs today because that right there was a foul, I think. How is that not a foul? I don't even know what I'm seeing right now. Peters gets it to Nkunku and Kunku's going to wait. Gonna try to play to Peters, man. I tried to time that right. All right, Alaba, let's see the defending. Let's see it. See that Premier League level defender. I mean, he kind of scared away that player, so I guess that works. Now we're gonna play this uh, free kick quick. Enzo, Leon, Gudis gets into Nkunku, crossover, Leon, diving header, and it goes right to the keeper, though. Okay, halftime is gonna be only 1 0. It really should be like at least 2 or 3 0, but it's looking like another dominant performance from us. So, so far, so good again. Now, Elise gets it, Eze. This game is not over yet, though. We cannot talk like it's over yet. Because they got some great players like Eze, Elise to really change this game. All right, Fafana, good to Kaiseido. Get it over to Reese James. Now, Reese. Oh, Caicedo, please. Caicedo. No, Caicedo. Wait, that actually works? Bro, we are getting some luck today. That was very lucky. Alaba swings it over to Max Peters. Peters plays a great ball to Enzo. Enzo waiting for... Where's the angle at, though? He might be there to win Kunku. Might be. Kunku. Enzo is going to try to flip it. Oh, man, the cross is right too close to the keeper, though. Caicedo. Enzo. Fernandez running through Chris Richards. That is a very strong tackle. Adewake. Good ball to Kudis. Kudis. Get it right back to him. That is a great ball from Kudis. Now, Reese James, please be on side. No, he's just offside. I thought I timed that right. Okay, the one goal curse is coming back. It's just, uh, can we score this second? Feels like one of those games have been so dominant, and to not score a second just feels a little fishy. Reese James, crossover. That is beautiful. Man, it looked good. All right, Fofana needs to come over. Oh, man, that was a really bad tackle. Now, Reese James has to catch up here. Reese James does well. Into Lerma. Lerma gets it over. That's going to be a good shot. Oh, he's going to score this. Nope, Enzo. Tackle, and we do survive it. That was very, very shaky. We got 20 minutes. I hate one goal leads. It might end here, though. Leon. Oh, the dribbling is just so good. What a finish by Leon Garcia. Bro, he might be the best player in the Premier League this year. He actually might be. That dribbling and that finish with that much power on his left foot is insane. Like one dribble there, get around the defender, that touch is beautiful. And then just a thunderous left-footed finish. Yeah, that might seal this game right there. So move to Gallagher and also Dewsbury Hall on. Bro, Leon's got 22 goals at the midway point. Like he's going for Holland's record. He might have broken the Chelsea number nine curse. He might have broken it. I mean, that's been Alaba's one defensive play and also the control there. I mean, it was not uh, conventional, but it works. Now, Dewsbury Hall tries to play in Mudrick, but that ball is not good from Dewsbury Hall. Eze gets it to Ivano Sin. Back to Eze. It's a little dangerous. Alaba, Alaba. Great tackle, though. See, that is what we paid the big bucks for. A defender like that who's got experience. Plays very well under pressure. Now, Dewsbury Hall, Mudrick, who should be on side. He is on side. Mudrick is going to try to come in here. He's going to go for a finesse shot to maybe steal this game. Mudrick, what a finish. Bro, this team is looking very good right now. All these young players are starting to develop really well, like midway point of the year and we're starting to see that potential of the squad like shine through i mean this year was a great take by mudrick not gonna lie looking a little bit like uh, eden hazard there cutting inside look at that alaba again man i feel so much more comfortable in our defense with alaba there that really could be like the most important signing of the season maybe mudrick gets it over to max peters max is gonna aim for leon actually goes to uh, okay that was not where i wanted that to go still though a solid 3-0 win that's three wins today and i mean so far all three have been really good performances
And yeah, Leon is by far the current uh, top score of the Premier League. Holland's like nowhere to be found. Holland's in eighth with only 12, while Leon has 22. I mean, what a season for Leon Garcia. So that win gets us within six points of Liverpool. So, hey, we're catching up to the league leaders, although Arsenal may United all have games at hand. But like I said, so far, that's uh, three wins today. Now, next game is the true test for this team right now. It is a rematch versus Man City, this time away, though. And hey, they most recently beat us 5-1. So this game could be another true test to see how far we can go this year. To show if we're for real this year or if we are pretenders pretty much and yeah so even though they signed balde he's not playing this game but Gadetska is in the midfield so it is a de bruyne alvarez and Gadetska midfield that is insane that is an extremely strong team that absolutely slapped us beforehand uh now with alaba and the team what's gonna happen this time around hey bro if we lose this one big again i'm gonna be so sad after such a good episode we can't end it by losing here so chelsea versus man city i'm not even sure they had Gadetska in the last meeting so they've gotten better since they beat us 5-1 it's just now like how much have we improved too bruyne gets it to alvarez bro this midfield in the attack is is just insane. Alaba, once again, right there. Stops the pass going to Holland. I mean, that's what we need. Adeweke tries to bite to Leon. Leon's gonna control that, and he does get by the defenders there. Bro, Leon might be the best player in the Premier League this year. Shot is right at Ederson, though. And Leon is on fire. The man is in form. Foden gets it to Gadetska. Gets it back to Foden. This is a little bit dangerous. Their attack looks like they're in form today, too, though. Okay, Fofana, great tackle, and we do survive that. Adeweke, Leon, Leon. Gonna flip it up back to Matawake versus Ake. Matawake is not gonna win that though. Alaba trying to mark Holland here. Holland's drifted over to the uh, to the left. Oh, their attack just looks very scary today. Okay, that's gonna be a please. No, he's gonna sneak it in under Marmashvili. Bro, I thought we had that near post covered at least. Holland scores to make it one nil to Man City. Bro, like I totally thought that he would not score this year. I thought like we had the near post covered. There's no angle, but he somehow got it through his legs. I don't even know who's to blame right there. I guess we should not let him get in that spot in the first place. Okay, so far it's looking like they are still in that same form. I don't know how they're all the way down and six playing like this. They're just not like us something. I don't know what it is. Oh, Gretzka, Kukurea just saved it. Kukurea. Oh no, we got to get it out though. We got to get it out. And okay, apparently that was a foul on us or foul on them actually. Come on, just score this, make a one, one. We're back in it. Alaba plays a great ball to Enzo. Enzo, Kunku back to Leon. Leon, okay, we got to hold this. Leon is going to feed it to Enzo Fernandez. He's going to go for a finesse shot. And that was like a complete miss hit by Enzo Fernandez. At Awake, Kaiseido, we got Kunku in a good spot. Kunku gets it to Cole Palmer. Palmer, good dribbling. Palmer, very good dribbling, but De Bruyne, we just ran right in front of him there. Gadetska plays it up to Holland. Now, this one again is so dangerous. Holland slides it over to Gadetska, over to Doku Alaba. Good block from our new center back. All right, corner in by Kevin De Bruyne. Caicedo clearance. Leon headed over. Good pass. Now, is there a chance for a counterattack? It might be, but man, Akanji, what a recovery that is. Bro, like every time we face this team, they're just so in form. Oh, Holland. Alaba. Alaba. What a tackle by Alaba. Saves us for a second. Holland's gonna get a shot. Oh, my, bro. I don't know how Alaba did that, but what a tackle from our new center back again. Man, we are asking Alba a lot to do here. Save us over and over again. He just did it again, though. That's three times now. Kunku gets it a Palmer. Palmer, wait for it. Still on side. Good pass. Now, Kunku is not going to run by Kyle Walker here, though. He's going to get it to Palmer, though. Please be on side. Cole Palmer's going to shoot, and Palmer hits the post. Leon's going to shoot, and Leon is also going to put it wide. Oh, that was the chance. It's tied up right there. That was the chance. Bro, Cole Palmer, I need you to finish that. That would have repaid Alba's, like, defensive effort right there. Okay, they got another free kick, which these are actually very scary. Now that is sent in and that's gonna fall. Okay, just clear it. I am not messing around with it there. Now they get the final chance of the first half. Oh, it inverse Reese James. Reese James, man, we tackled him there, but he's still gonna hold it. Holland, same spot as a four. We're not gonna give him that shot though this time. All right, this first half is gonna end. It's gonna end 1 0 to Man City. And we had a chance tied up there, like almost two chances really. But Man City look as dominant as ever still. I will say though, Alaba has been tremendous this game, like justifying his signing in this one game alone. All right, Palmer, get it out to Kukurea. Good pass. Over to Nkunku. Into Leon Garcia. This could be tie game. Leon running through. They can't deal with the pace. And Leon's going to score. Okay, perfect start to the second half. 1-1 in the 49th minute. Yeah, Leon in this series is incredible. That is now 23 goals scored in the Premier League alone. And 1-1 in this huge game. Okay, we are now officially back in this. Now, Diaz is going to find Foden in a very good spot. Now, that just split our defense so far apart, Alaba has to try and defend like three players here. And Fofana recovers and will save us there. Man, that was so risky. And Alaba is so good on the ball. Like, he truly fits our team so well and also fits the Premier League. There's so many teams in this league that press where he's so good, like, just bring the ball forward. Feels like almost a midfielder. Enzo, Palmer, Caicedo. We're trying to find some space here, but they're pushing us back. Caicedo's going to drive forward, though. Now, he's going to find Leon. Leon, which, oh, man, we were so close to controlling that. Gretzka gets it over all the way to Foden. Foden doing all types of skills here. But Reese James is not having any of it. He's going to flip it up to Matawake. Now we got a chance to run. 
feels like the game is shifting a little bit. Oh man, Leon, we got to play that over the top though. Gretzka now looking for Holland. We defended that well. It's going to be a chance though. And Fofana. Okay, is that a foul? No, that's going to be a foul in a very bad spot. It's honestly all we can do there though. Now, man, you don't want standing over this free kick is Kevin De Bruyne. And he is going to thankfully hit the wall there. That is very lucky. Okay, we survived that just barely. We got 20 minutes. This game is extremely close, but man, we're going to lose it again. All of a sudden, can't keep the ball here. Alaba versus Rodri. Alaba. Staying strong there. Oh, he's going to find Holland though. Holland, don't let him shoot. Oh no, what was that, bro? What was that? Enzo was going to clear that, bro. That was so awkward. Okay, we're going to do Kudis and Mudrik on. And I think we leave it at that for now. I think we just need like fresh legs on the wing. Now they're going to throw it in Holland, but Alaba definitely has that covered. Palmer over to Leon. Get it back to Caicedo. Could this be a chance? Okay, Rodri just literally caught up to uh, Caicedo there like it was nothing. Fofana. Doesn't get a tackle there. Oh, this is not good. Rodri doing skills. Reese James does just enough, though. All right, 12 minutes to find something here. Kudis. Leon plays it over to Cole Palmer instead. Kudis keeps it. No, man, we're just getting smothered by the Man City press right now. And oh, this is not good. Oh, Doku has got Alaba on the pace there. And Doku is going to get a chance to shoot. And I think Marmash really actually saved that. Okay, that is so close. I honestly thought that was game. And what a save by Marmash Bili, though. All right, eight minutes left. Enzo to Kukurea. Going to try to find space here. But man, we just can't break their lines. And the pressing is so well right now. Trying to lose in a bad spot. Let's try and reset. Reese James, Kudis into Kaiseido. This is decent right here. This is very decent. Kudis over to Leon. Leon to Enzo, Fernandez, Fernandez shot. And he's actually put the shot wide. I thought it was Cole Palmer, to be honest. Oh, Enzo, Fernandez, a chance to win it. Or you gotta at least hit target there. You can't send that wide. Come on, boys, defend this. No, don't want him through. No, not like this. Holland gets it over. No, Foden, please, no. Rodri, Mr. Clutch, and oh my, Alaba with another block. You gotta be kidding me. Alaba has probably stopped like four to five goals today alone by himself. Reese James clearance. Man, they're gonna get one more chance. Holland, Reese James. Okay, Reese James, no, you gotta be kidding me. Holland still still keeps it into Kovacic. Enzo Fernandez wins the ball, though. And okay, it's gonna be a hard-fought 1-1 draw with Man City. Hey, you know what? We didn't lose 5-1, so I'd say that's an improvement, although obviously couldn't get the win. Man, if we don't have Alaba, though, I think we concede probably like three or four this game. He was definitely man of the match. Just absolutely justifying us signing him. And how important he's going to be for the rest of this series for us. But okay, 25 games in, we set in second place, but we are eight points off Liverpool now. So I'm not sure how much of a title charge we're going to push. It looks like Liverpool might run away with the league. But we're still fighting with top four, which is definitely not secure by any means. But man, today we truly saw the potential of this team shine through. And now after a very good string of performances, we're at home trying to relax. We kind of feel like we've earned it. But our next game is the biggest game of the season so far. Chelsea versus Liverpool Carabao Cup final. And after last year's embarrassing loss to basically Liverpool youngsters. If we don't win it this year, the owners might actually think about sacking us. So next episode is going to be huge. If you want to see more of this series, then of course, drop a like. And if you want to watch our latest messy player crew episode over on Tyster Plus, then click on screen to watch that.